Now just imagine, waking up, walking out onto your balcony, having a fresh cup of coffee, and staring out into the most magnificent views Whistler has to offer. Located up here in the prestigious Sunridge Plateau of Whistler, this exceptionally well-designed ski-in, ski-out chalet is a rare jewel. Hosted with Ace House, the premier vacation rental host in Whistler, this charming chalet features 12 beds, seven bathrooms, and over 6,500 square feet of living space. Let's head in and check it out. Okay, now we're gonna head straight through and check out this majestic main living space. Now this is something that's like straight out of a Hallmark movie. The feeling you get when you come in this space is so surreal. Right away, you're gonna be hearing the fire crackling there. You're gonna feel the warmth from it. It's something else. What's great about the fireplace is the stone wrapped all around it. Doesn't it look like that's like stone straight from the mountain range? It really gives that nature feel. And if you look up above, you have the logs going across and the wood vaulted ceiling leading all the way up to the top there. Logs remind me of like, you know, a cabin out in the woods. <laughs> Doesn't it? And speaking of the nature feel we were mentioning too, an antler chandelier. <laughs> I don't think it gets any more mountain nature-esque than that but you can actually see how much natural light is hitting that chandelier because these windows take up this entire back wall that really help accentuate those mountain views and what's not to love about the snow covered trees. That's something that you can't miss when you walk in this room, but just imagine booking this during Christmas time, opening some presents by the fireplace. It's something that you might not get in your own residence, but you can get here. Those would be some like lifelong memories and photos that you would never forget. Now I do see that balcony up above. That's something that caught my eye. Oh, that caught my eye as soon as we came in here, but we're gonna check that out later. And for now, we're gonna head this way and check out the next space. Opening up the Christmas presents in the living space next to that fireplace wasn't enough. Then imagine just having dinner with the family at this vintage table. And I mean, talk about vintage, check out this chandelier. It's really cool how the lights there actually act as like candles that are burning. You might not need those lights because all the natural light coming through these massive windows again. You got the snow covered trees, the mountain range, and you can also enjoy those views through this window where you have the patio and it's covered. So if you got a light snowfall or it's raining in the summertime, you can still enjoy it. Now we're gonna make our way over here to this side of the home and check out the charming kitchen. What's not to love about a kitchen that's got this much character? I mean, how great is this middle island piece? It is great, and I also feel like you can just grab a chair, sit back, Oh, you throw me a show? Do you know what? Absolutely, the tapenaki. You know where they like put on the show while they cook? And do you know what? All you viewers or potential guests that are gonna be staying here, you can either get your cook on or you can just hire someone like me to cook and put on a show. Whoa. That's pretty good. I think you should put that back. I thought you were gonna throw that on my head. <laughs> I don't wanna crack that lens because there's a lot more to show in this kitchen. Like, I gotta say once again, I know we mentioned it quite a bit, but these views, we're also seeing them in the kitchen, which makes doing the dishes not as bad. Look at that down there. Oh, that's cool. Isn't that? Yeah, they got some like some pasta on display, some coffee beans, some regular <laughs> beans, and I imagine you, oh, there's pots, interesting. How do you open it up? You just slide this open, but I feel like they're all gonna fall out. So how do you get to it? Do you know what? This is probably for if an avalanche happens, because we're close, we're up here in the mountain range. So if an avalanche happens and you run out of food, it's probably like a safety reservoir, you know what I mean? You just like <laughs> crack that open, grab them. <laughs> I mean, maybe, or maybe it's a- You're probably right, design. you're probably right. Yeah, I'm probably right. <laughs> and of course, over on this side of the kitchen, there's the wood cabinetry with the fridge, and one of my favorites, a Miele espresso machine. And to my left over here is another family living space. Ah, it's not a bad little space. It's not too bad at all. It's pretty cozy and it also has a pretty big patio. Now follow me as we head down this curved hallway here where there's a powder room. And behind me to my left, there's the secondary bedroom that has a full ensuite. And as we continue on through this hallway, past the foyer and to my left again, there's a study with some tall ceilings and once again, a beautiful window for some nice views. 
Okay, that's a nice little study, but we have to talk about this staircase. This staircase is the most magnificent piece of heritage we've seen in a home in all the tours. And the reason why is because this railing is actually from the first double person chairlift called the red chair in all of Whistler. Come check this out. I think I need to touch it just to say oh, that yeah. I did. I mean, how cool is that? Like that really gives the definition of why this home is really a winter chalet. But to top that off, this tree right here that goes all the way down, all the way to the top is a 452 year old tree that was sourced from the Gold River on Vancouver Island. Now that's a great conversation piece and I think we should head up. Let's head up. At the top of the stairs, you know we gotta head straight to this Juliet balcony that we were talking about when we were in that main living space. I feel like I this is my perfect chance to maybe just throw them right over. What? Huh? What? No, I was saying this even better from up here. You know what? It does. And I like if, if I was to ever like get pushed off this or fall off, I think I'd grab onto that and swing and peacefully land on that couch. Okay, maybe my plan wouldn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of that though. Let's continue on. Like through these curtains, this is such a cool little spot for the kids to hang out. Or honestly, I would love to kind of post up in here and read a book. This is cozy. But there's more to see. There's a whole lot more to see. So come follow me as we head down this hall and check out the secondary bedrooms. Now these bedrooms are not just your typical secondary bedrooms. First off, this one to my right here has a full ensuite, two separate beds, and it has a little balcony too, so you can get out there, have some coffee, get some fresh air, and have your own little privacy. But now the room behind me here, it is certainly unique. I mean, what's not to love about this huge window, but this bench here. Imagine just sitting down, having a cup of coffee, reading another book, and I mean, look, it's right now it's snowing out. I mean, that's just picturesque. I also like the corner window there too. What's great about that corner window is it actually faces the same views you're getting in the living space. And now we gotta talk about my favorite part of this room. There's two additional beds up there in the upper loft area, which is perfect for the kids. But I mean, honestly, I think I'd pick these. This is cool. Pick these? I thought that was your bed in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know I've just recently outgrown my crib. You gonna make it up there? Oh yeah, I will. I gotta watch myself though. I mean, I'm pretty big for this, but this is so cool. There's two additional beds. There's actually quite a bit of space up here. And I mean... You know I'm not coming up, right? Oh, what you, oh yeah, I know you're, you're afraid of heights, which is totally fine. And I guess if the viewers want to see up here, they just got booked this place. Additional to all this cool stuff, this bedroom also has a full ensuite. Okay, let's go check out the primary. Let's go check out the primary. Coming around the bend, and like Jaden said, we're now gonna check out this primary bedroom. This primary bedroom is like a small version of that main living space. That actually is true because you also have the fireplace in the same spot. No, not just about the fireplace, which by the way is double-sided, but look up above. There's the vaulted ceilings that go all the way up there. And once again, it has that huge tree going directly across all the way to this side. Well, technically all of it's tree because it's all <laughs> And what's not to love about those sconces there on both sides? A lot of room around the bed. There's enough room that, usually we're just like, there's enough room, there's nightstands. They got two chairs on, <laughs> they got two chairs and a treasure chest on this side. He just missed that. Another thing that mimics that room is obviously the view. Oh yeah, the views. But I think this one one ups that space because it has a little Juliet balcony where you can just look it out into those views outside. Enough of this room. On the other side of this double-sided fireplace, you have the ensuite. One more time, we gotta mention these views. I know we sound like a broken record, but imagine stepping up this, getting into a nice warm bubble bath, and just watching the snow fall down and looking at that mountain range. It's also great that the shower has that view as well. Yeah, you're still gonna get that while showering and you're not gonna get it though while doing your business in the water closet. Actually, you could if you keep the door open, but <laughs> if you keep the door open, you'll still see those views. But also, while you're shaving or while you're brushing your teeth, getting ready, looking through there, the mirror, you're still gonna see the views. So you get views all around. You're getting views all around in here. Leaving the primary bedroom, we're now gonna head up one more set of stairs and show you what's at the top of the home. Okay, I take back wanting to sleep in those lofts. I think I'm gonna pick this room. You're literally at the top of the home 
in like this dome here with 360 degree windows all the way around. I could just imagine waking up here, like just checking out all these views. I mean, this has gotta be the best part of the home. You think this is the best part? I don't think it can get any better than this. Now, usually you tour the home before I do, but I actually was the one that checked the basement out. That's something else. You're telling me there's something in the basement that tops this? Yes. Okay, let's go check that out. Let's go. At the bottom of these stairs, we're now here in the lower level. And this is where that tree starts. So if you pop your head in here, it goes all the way up there. Now, like I said, I haven't been in this lower level yet. So bear with me as we just walk over here, which seems to be the wine cellar room. Now, this is pretty cool because A, it's glass enclosed, but B, that's a lot of room and storage for wine bottles or even putting your favorite bottles of liquor on there. Now, over on this side, looks like we got a powder room that doesn't have a sink. Maybe they just use hand sanitizer. Look behind you. And interesting. Now this is, is this what you were talking about? Why this place is cooler? Look at that, that comes right out of the lion's mouth. Now, is this not better than that top room? Honestly, this is cool, but it's not as cool as up there. No. So I gotta do better. You gotta do better than this. Okay, follow me. All right. You think this is it? I mean, I'm going on the side. Nope. All right. What you're gonna do is keep looking straight. I'm looking straight. Don't look any other way. I'm not looking any other way. Cause I want it to be a surprise. Yes, let's, let's go. Okay, look to your left. Oh, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> now this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> This is better, right? This is way better, like, wow. We gotta take it in for a second, there's a lot to see. <sighs> I mean, look at this. Like these, this structure here, the tree with these carvings, like that is something else. That's something that really helps these beams pop, hey? Oh, absolutely, and speaking of like popping, as soon as I walked in and I looked left, the first thing I noticed was this ceiling with those illuminated lights up there. It gives that warm zen vibe. And it definitely pops off this pool down below. I mean, the pool down below, is this Olympic size or what? <laughs> like, you, can, you can swim laps in this thing. You head that way, I'm gonna go this way. Okay, let's do that. Like this is something else, man. Look at that rock wall back there. What's even better is there's actually a waterfall here too. You told me there's a waterfall in here? This, now this room just keeps getting better and better. I had to turn it off because it was super loud, but yeah, it's amazing. That must be pretty powerful if you turn it off and it's that loud. But I wanna talk about the stone that's exactly like this that I see outside. That must be the hot tub. Yeah, it is, and it's probably the best place to put it, which is outside. And I think it looks pretty cool in the rocks. It looks like a natural hot spring. There is more to see, though, behind you. Okay, now this is pretty cool. I like and I can appreciate that they added this in because whenever everyone's swimming in the pool, you're having a little pool party, everyone can hang out and take a break there. But what's this now? We got a shower, which also has the rock coming in from out there. You can kind of sit down. And I think this is also a steam shower. Look at, look at this, look at this. The carvings. These are like dinosaur carvings, look at that. And over there, it looks like there's a bathroom and a laundry room. But that's just not all. Remember I said look to your left? Oh, we're gonna head to the right now? There's more to see, go check it out. All right, I'm excited to see this. Okay, another set of double doors. Ah, yeah. Now this is a cool vibe. Not this bad? Is like, yeah, this is, this is completely different than the other spaces because the coziness in here, it's kind of closed off, the dark ambience, and is this, the acoustics in here phenomenal, and like. Padded? Yeah, this is like padded. Like imagine watching some movies, playing some games, or watching the sports games in here. I just love the pattern on that. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. You're really getting that like old school cabin vibe to it. But I do think that this is the end of the tour. Do you know what? I think it's the end of the tour. We hope y'all enjoyed this tour as much as we did. Now, if you wanna stay at this property or any other Ace Host Managed properties and get that personal concierge service, then be sure to head to the description below. We'll have a link to their website. Now, if you haven't seen our other Whistler tours, cause you know we've been out here on the mountainside all week, then be sure to check those out as well. My name's Tyler and that's Jaden. We're with Propertygrams. Now make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so you can stay tuned for the latest tours. But enough of that, we'll see you on the next one. I would love to sit down in here put on a movie or read a book. It's pretty cozy. It is, but uh, I don't know if you put on a movie. Maybe on your phone, but... Well, maybe I could put on that outfit. 
<laughs> all right, guys, 20,000 likes. I'm throwing on. Check out that chandelier of all those antlers. <laughs> that thing's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> this table is actually 3,000 years old. No, I thought it was 4,000 years old. <laughs> and I mean, what's not to love about the sconces right below there? <laughs> <laughs> now just imagine waking up. Now just, Im now just imagine. Jesus! All right. Yes, sir.